As trustee, <laughs> how do I deal with the sibling that has taken what does not belong to her? I am trustee and one of four beneficiaries from my father's trust, and all assets are to be split equally. One sibling took several valuables listed in the trust that belong to all four and will not return them. She has also taken my father's ashes and will not return them over. So I may fulfill his wish of joining my mother in the veteran's cemetery. I have made several requests with no luck. I'm not sure how to proceed. Um, what do I do? Sewer. That's the most blunt force way to do it. Um, depending on the value of the property, if it's like under um, 15000 or so, you can you can bring it in magistrate court yourself as trustee against her for what conversion. What is magistrate? Oh, this is Georgia. Sorry. In any state, really. But it's like small claims court, more or less. Okay. Um, if you feel really comfortable doing it yourself, you can. If you walk into magistrate court or any small claims court in America, you will see a real murderer's row of people yelling at each other in front of a judge and a judge who was very, very patient, who I honestly yes. think they should allow the judge to drink during the hearing. Because so if it's a couple hundred dollars, I take her to small claims court to go get my money. Um, the yeah. judge makes a decision. Yeah. yeah, but what really she can also do is since she's a trustee, she can also use trust assets, including trust funds to pay for counsel. Um, and just sue her in regular court. Oh, okay. And if she prevails, she can probably get attorney's fees from her sister's share. Sweet. Um, so That's I fun. would probably recommend that. Give her sister one final demand, or Kyra Council would send one final demand letter. I'm going to sue you. It's going to be with your own money. You yes. Need, you need to return this. And if you don't, we will file suit, and here's what we'll be seeking. Yes. Hmm. This is one of the reasons I don't like siblings serving as trustee over other siblings, because you have these weird dynamics where you have to sue your sister or your brother. Yeah. Ideally, right. if they could have found someone who was more neutral, like a professional fiduciary, an attorney, uh bank wealth management harbor to do this it would be a lot easier without because i imagine one of the dynamics that's playing out with the sister who's not giving the things that she's pissed off at something that happened with the sister or the parents so it's like i took care of my dad i took yeah. care of them when they were right. sick or i you got so many you got so much money from them before blah blah, blah. people right. are she's upset about something probably i doubt it's like complete her uh, that her anger is completely unfounded right but it's, probably it's, not, it's not pure malice it's there's always more to it yeah right. Right. i said sue cavalierly at the beginning but <laughs> you, should, you should let a build up you, you should yeah really know you've played all your options first that right. were non um litig or non-court based yeah. i i always think it's so interesting i mean from from an from a layman's perspective i always feel like law is this thing where it's like oh you know this is a you know, it's a cut and dry thing. Here are the rules and blah, blah, blah. And if you just know the rules, like that's kind of how I thought about it. And I think it's super interesting that with each, with, as we do more of these questions, it's more like, hey, like, you know, be a human. Like this, if yeah. we do this, she'll probably react in this very human way. And we don't yes. want her to do that. So yeah, that's exactly. Like, people need, I'll say this with the sister in particular, but with everyone, people will feel more buy-in if you give them a soft landing. If you give them a way to save face, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Without having to go to court, you might salvage a relationship with her. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404 738-9538 and you can also leave us an email at the address below.